hello world welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl's pumi and i am back with another new video in today's video i'm actually not sure what i'm gonna title this video i'm writing finals tomorrow i start with my final exams i'm starting with maths paper one so basically in this video i'm just i'm just gonna be showing you guys what i'm doing before the exam and the experience of writing exams as an online student if you don't know i am in grade 11 at uct online high school right now the time is 20 minutes to 8 i am going to take a shower and i'm hungry so i'm gonna also eat um supper i don't want to eat a lot because i feel like if i do i'm gonna like feel sleepy and then i won't be able to carry on with my practice for my exam so i'm just gonna eat like i'm gonna try eat light you know and then yeah i also want to make myself a cup of tea because i'm feeling cold like it's so cold today the weather just changed i don't know like what's happening but <laughs> yeah the weather just changed like oh yeah and i'm trying yesterday it was it was windy but it was not bad like today it's just windy it even it even drizzled earlier on so yeah um uh, i'm also feeling a bit tired but you know what I, I can't entertain my tiredness right now i just need to kind of ignore that and push through so yeah i'm gonna take a shower now eat dinner and then carry on with my practice and those are just my plans for the rest of the evening so yeah let me go take a shower Self-care has been defined as the process of establishing behaviors to ensure holistic well-being of oneself to promote health and actively manage illness when it occurs. During the exam season, it is very easy to neglect yourself and solely focus on your exams. Focusing on your exams is a good thing, but your mental and physical health can be negatively affected in the process. Remind yourself to set aside time to do things that you enjoy. If a part of your daily routine is going to the gym for three hours, because you're writing exams, you can spend one and a half hours at the gym so that you can be at home earlier to study. Don't completely cut off your gym time. Cutting off your self-care time can cause you to feel more stressed. Some of the things that I like to do as self-care are crocheting, watching a movie or series, going for a walk and spending time with my family. There are many things that you can do to de-stress during the exam season. You need to find what makes you feel good. Some additional tips that I have are stay hydrated and eat healthy foods. Having a burger and your favorite cool drink won't hurt once in a while take study breaks to avoid getting burnt out talk to your friends or family members when you need to make sure that you keep a strong support system participate in physical activities such as running going for a walk if you do karate go do that maybe go play in the grass you know like just get busy move your body around and I know that the last tip may be hard and you may feel like you don't have time for it, but make sure that you rest as much as you can. I'm done taking a shower. As you can see, I'm wearing my pajamas now. Um, I also just combed my hair. I actually washed it. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it like, I try to wash it every Sunday. So yeah. And today is Sunday, so I washed my hair. I'm gonna go and wash my hands because they have some oil residue. And I'm gonna make dinner. Well, I'm not actually gonna make, I'm just going to dish up. My mom already cooked. I also forgot that I don't have my Invigilator app downloaded on my phone. So I need to download that. I was trying to download it yesterday, but then my phone is full. Like the storage is full. So I need to delete some things and get that app downloaded because without the app i can't write my exam and that exam or all my exams actually need to be written you know i need to be able to submit my exams so yeah let me go eat 
get that out of the way and then I'll come back to my room and I also need to <laughs> I also need to um, like make a physical copy of my exam timetable I'm going to uh, like write it out I have it on my laptop but I also want to be able to physically scratch like the paper you know after writing every exam so yeah I'll do that when I get back to my room right now I'm gonna go eat dinner So here's my finals timetable. It looks so pretty. I even color coded like all my exams. I mean subjects, yeah. Everything looks cute. I actually like it. Okay, now one extra thing that's very important and to the right, you have to think in opposites. So saying minus two does not shift the graph. Okay guys, so here's an update. Um, I just got myself some ice cream with honey drizzled over it. Um, I've been practicing for my math exam. I didn't really film myself because I wanted to fully concentrate and pay attention to what I am doing. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to download the Invigilator app on my phone, but I still have my old phone, so I downloaded it on my old phone. Old phone, na yonje ingi yezinki inga ini inki inganje ay sebenzi maba yike chajin. So, hey, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see. But I'll have to use my old phone to, like, invigilate my exam. Because my current phone, I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't want to download the app. I've been busy restarting my phone and, you know... Switching it on, switching it off, like, like you know when you clear the apps after using them. I've been trying that. That doesn't work. I don't know what's wrong with my. I don't like. I don't know if it's the phone that has the problem, or it's Google Play Store, or it's my network. But my network is fine because if I do something else that requires Wi-Fi, it works perfectly. Like if I'm on YouTube on my phone, it works perfectly. So the Wi-Fi is not the issue. The issue is either with Google, I think it's with Google Play Store, I don't know. But yeah, that's my little updates. I'm going to carry on practicing. The time right now is half past 11. I'm going to eat my ice cream and I don't know if I should take a break. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to take a break. I'm just going to eat my ice cream while I answer some questions. <laughs>
good morning guys today is the 30th of october and i'm going to be starting with my exam soon the time right now is 26 minutes past eight so my exam starts in four minutes ah, i'm gonna start writing i'm literally almost done with grade 11 like after these exams i'm done i am done so yeah I'm, I'm really happy about that my camera's going to die so i need to charge it while i'm writing which is good because i wasn't really planning on filming while i write so i'll be seeing you guys after my exam um i also forgot to say that i didn't take a shower i didn't bath or anything i'm going to be doing that after my exam i just like wore this hoodie and brushed my teeth I'm not feeling hungry so I'm not going to eat but I do have my water bottle on my desk so I can drink water like during my exam. Yeah guys let me go right. Um, oh yeah wait I was also able to download the invigilator app on my phone like the phone that I'm currently using now. I downloaded the app this morning and it was so quick and easy like nothing happened there was no error those errors that I was seeing last night like nothing happened nothing happened so yeah i'm going to be using my current phone because my old phone it could also give me problems but yeah so i'm happy about that it was literally so quick i was just like download and everything loaded and i was like okay open your app and i signed in again and it was good so yeah guys um if you're also writing i know a lot of people are start are also starting to write today so i hope that everything goes well with your exams guys try your best and let's pass this year and move on to the next year um also to the metrics like yo you guys have come a long way um like just push this is like your last push and move on to like other things you know get out of high school go to university if that's what you want take a gap year if that's what you're planning to do like whatever it may be you know like let's just get it over and done with and end of the year on like a high note so with that being said guys let me go write i'll see you when i'm done writing yo guys i am done writing maths i'm done with paper one oh my gosh and i almost didn't upload oh, the light okay i almost didn't upload my paper i like i used some of my uploading time to finish up some questions which is wrong because then i had less time to take pictures of my answer sheet i was literally left with like one minute and i was still taking pictures i was even shaking i was like oh my gosh i need to get this submitted and then like i just took pictures of all my pages and i sent it through like i submitted that i'm not sure if they are in correct order well like the first i think like 10 pages are in the correct order then the rest i don't know i don't know but i think they're in correct order i tried to put them probably i don't know Ugh. i was just running out of time i was like even if like they are incorrectly ordered as long as they are numbered correctly they'll still be able to mark because you know if it's 9.3.1 you can see it's 9.3.1 you know so yeah at least i was able to upload i'm going to take a break now i want to go take a shower and just relax for a bit maybe for two hours tomorrow i'm writing english paper one and then on wednesday i'm writing biology then on thursday i'm not writing but i'm writing on friday and the subject that i'm writing is afrikaans paper one as well so yeah i'm gonna go take a break i'm really like my heart is beating so fast if you guys could like feel my chest right now it's going like goo, 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 goo. so yeah i need i just need to relax take a break and then i'll come back and study for english